What is up people, Dunna here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at comparing the classic Rode Video Micro on-camera shotgun mic to the brand new dual capsule Deity D4 Duo. And before you get down in the comments and start yelling at me that I'm pronouncing Deity wrong, I wanna show you something. Deity. 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 So there, I'm not wrong, I'm just Canadian, and I have to look Queen Elizabeth in the eye on my money every single day. Deity. Okay, so here's what we're gonna go over today. We're gonna take a look at some of the differences and commonalities of these things like price, size, weight, and then we're gonna go over some of the features that they both have. And then of course, the most important part, we're going to take a look at what, take a look at what they sound like. We're gonna take a listen to what these two microphones sound like. Let's kick things off with some simple stuff. The Rode Video Micro is $59 US, whereas the Deity D4 Duo is going to be $89 US, so a little bit more expensive. The Deity is a little bit lighter coming in at 57 grams without the windscreens and 70 grams with them, whereas the Rode Video Micro is 60 grams or 75 with the windscreen on. Now, even though they look similar, they do have a slightly different shape and footprint. And once you get the windscreens on there, the Rode Video Micro is a lot bigger on the front, which I think gives a little bit of an advantage to the Deity. One more little thing that I really like about the Deity is that it's really well balanced, so it doesn't feel like it's pushing forward all the time like the road sometimes can. It balances really nicely on the shock mount. It might seem like something that doesn't make any difference, but when you do have it on a camera, it's not tilting forward. And if you've got a wide lens on, that can actually get into your shot on the Rode Video Micro. Now, on the other end of that, the Deity does stick out further behind the actual shock mount itself. So depending on where you have it attached to your camera, it might get in the way if you're trying to use your viewfinder. You know what, let's get rid of these wind screens here for a second. So the windscreens come off easier on the Deity. That has its pros and cons. As you can see, we've got a similar style of shock mount for both microphones. We got the red one for the road, and then we've got this yellow colorway with the yellow cable for the Deity. Neither of these microphones have a battery, so there's no recharging or changing batteries necessary. On the Rode Video Micro, the 3.5 millimeter plug is on the back, whereas on the Deity D4 Duo, it's on the side. And you might notice that there's another one there called input. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Basically, they're both designed to be easy to use small form factor microphones that you can just toss on your camera and you really don't have to worry about. Now up to this point they seem like they're probably pretty similar but Deity has been looking at what they can do to take this form factor of microphone to the next level and has some really awesome new features. The biggest thing that differentiates the Deity D4 Duo is the fact that it's not actually just one microphone it's two. Yes you heard that right it's got a capsule in the front where you would expect it but it's also got another microphone capsule at the back. Now, I know some of you just went, why in the f would I want to have a microphone in the back? I have two examples for you. First of all, it's for people who like to film themselves, but then sometimes turn the camera around, show something and narrate from behind the camera. Just out here filming another YouTube video. Check out this microphone on the table. And the other reason that you might want to use this is if you had an interviewer behind the camera and the interviewee in front of the camera. The output of the D4 Duo actually splits the two microphones into two different channels, left and right, and records them that way so that once you get them into your editor, you can split them up and do whatever you want with them. So if there's some noise behind the camera where the interviewer was, let's say, rustling with papers or something like that, you can actually mute this microphone later on in your post-processing while still leaving the front microphone going. And there's also a switch on top so you can just switch it into mono mode so it's only using the front microphone. And as if that wasn't enough on its own, they've also added a 3.5 millimeter input so that you can bypass the back microphone and plug in something like a lav or a wireless system so that you can use the front mic and something else. In fact, you could probably plug in the Rode Video Micro. I don't know why you'd want to do this. I'm recording out of the front on the Deity and then the back, instead of the back microphone, it's actually going through the Video Micro. I, I actually don't know what the point of this setup would be, but you can do it. 
Like I mentioned before, probably a more useful situation would be to use the extra input for a lav mic for your interviewer or to set up an extra wireless system for whatever reason you might need it. And finally, the front and back capsules aren't exactly the same. The back capsule is actually designed for the distance that you might be speaking from it. So what I mean by that is typically when you're holding the camera, you're gonna be a lot closer to it. Whereas when you're holding it this way, you're gonna be a little bit further away. And all of that is why when I took off the windscreen, the Rode Video Micro only had one, but the Deity actually had two. One is for the front capsule, one is for the back. But none of this comparison really means anything if we don't know how they sound. So let's go do some tests and we'll see what we come up with. All right, this is a test of the Deity D4 Duo front microphone. I've currently got it set so it's only using the front microphone. And I've also got the camera exactly one arm length away where I could hold it. So this would be like the vlogging test. 28 inches or so from my mouth. We're outside now, so there's lots of noise going on. There's birds, there's sirens, there's helicopters, all sorts of stuff. All right, and from the exact same position, this is now the Rode Video Micro. I haven't adjusted any of the settings, so we're on the same level and everything. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. There, I did the whole alphabet. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I just did the whole alphabet. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I did the whole alphabet. And now this is an indoor test, so we're just again in my living room and this is the Rode Video Micro. I'm standing again about an arm's length away, so this could be like your kind of vlogging distance, but I also wanna test what happens when I walk a little bit further away. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. There, I did the whole alphabet. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. There, I did the whole alphabet. I'm now about 52 inches away from the microphone. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. There, I did the whole alphabet. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. There, I did the whole alphabet. So now we've had a chance to listen to what both of these microphones sound like. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the sound coming out of both of them. I do love having that back microphone. I can't count the amount of times that I've had to take off the microphone, flip it around in the hot shoe, and then shoot something that way. And it just gets a little bit annoying, so it's nice to just be able to flip that one little switch and then go for it. Or you just leave it on all the time and then you can get rid of that one channel in post if you don't need it. But as always, I wanna know what you think. Which one did you prefer, the Rode Video Micro or the Deity D4 Duo. Do you have one that you think would work best for you? Do you think that the Deity is worth the extra $30? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And on your way down there, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on future reviews and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>